What's up, y'all? Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna be doing a mukbang, um, but first I have to make the food that I'm gonna be mukbang. So you're gonna see me make a very fast vegetable stew. Um, I went to HEB. You can see my little HEB haul. It's, it's gonna be a very simple vegetable stew. I got baby spinach. I got bell peppers. Uh, I got jalapenos, tomatoes, serrano pepper, and an avocado, but that's not for this. Um, what else, what else, what else? Oh, I also have some exciting news that I'm going to drop later on in this video, so keep watching. Um, so let, let, let's get it going. I'm just going to cut these up barely, toss them in here, and that'll be that. That will be that as soon as I can find my knife. So how are you guys doing? Chilling? I hope so. I hope so. Oh, I'm gonna drop the bell pepper. So you'll be able to tell. You can't see because I'm not gonna. You know what? Let me see if I can get the camera to move a little bit to where you can see a little bit better. If you haven't already, um, you need to stop watching. You need to stop watching. Click the subscribe button. Okay, this whole machine works on subscribes. Without subscribes, it doesn't work. Don't know what name you're calling me by. So three paintings. Looked at the clock and the minute went by. Bakia Pollock. Don't know what name you're calling me by. So three paintings. Looked at the clock and the minute went by. I'm hardly here. But it's still better than being anywhere Looking at the universe in my mind It's telling me all of the secrets that I wanted to find Bakia Pollock, don't know what name you're calling me by So three paintings, looked at the clock and the minute went by Bakia Pollock, don't know what name you're calling me by so three paintings, looked at the clock and the minute went by. Don't try to Don't tell try me, me which altitude which to cruise at. If I stay in the blue, just know that's where the news is at. Don't try to help me, I know what I'm playing.
good. What's up, people? Okay, okay, it's time to do it. It's time to eat the food um, that was so meticulously prepared. Let's see if I can move this up. As you saw, um, there we go. That's a little bit better. Anyway, so I got the Ebba. I'm going full Nigerian style today, and I'm gonna be eating with my hands. Uh, let's get in it. Busy day, a lot of stuff going on. Very hungry. Um, announcement I'm gonna do it right after I pray and start eating. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this food. I pray that you bless it, help it to nourish our bodies, help us to provide for those who do not have, as well as um, please bless this and help it to nourish our bodies, as I said, and help us um, also, oh Lord, to um, to appreciate the source from which it came. Oh Lord God, please bless the source from which it came. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You guys can tell I'm hungry. I have to focus and relax so that I can actually remember how to pray. Let's do it. I usually don't eat with my hands, but I just did. I decided to do it. I didn't feel like getting a spoon, so here we go. I made this vegetable soup. It has larger chunks of, like, um, what we'll call it, of, uh, um, bell peppers and stuff and I usually I like it small. Usually I'll cook it down longer, but I got stuff to do today, so it's good. I could add a dash of salt, but that's not here. I'm eating in this little tray, this little meal prep here. Got the steaks, so I'm gonna put the steaks in there. And then of course the the abaski. The abaski. Got my eba and vegetable stew. Ooh. So, announcement. Next year, running for mayor in San Antonio. That's right. Now we're over that, because I actually don't have that much else to say about it than that. Right now, it's so early. But anyway. How are you guys doing? Everybody having fun? I, mean, I guess I should say a little bit more. Um, keep checking my website, www.kenya.org for more infos. Also, subscribe to this channel. That's a good idea, too. If you want to keep following, I'll actually be talking about it seriously when I have time. Dropping videos. So, it's gonna go down. Mm. It's good, it's a little hot. Some of the main reasons I don't eat with my hands, I'm like, oh, spoons can handle heat. But, um, let's see what else is going on. I watched season three of The Shy. Uh, I think it was either last week, or I think it was this week. Um, so I saw a very new episode. Um, I won't give away any spoilers, but um, you probably heard it. With the internet, I feel like if you don't see something immediately, <laughs> like in the first group of people to watch it, more than likely, if anything dramatic happens, you're going to hear about it. Right? That's just too hard not to. Like with Avengers, the whole Civil War thing, it's like, hey, you know what's going to go down. Like, even if you didn't go to the theater, people were talking about it. So, it's just the way it is. I actually have not seen seasons one or two of The Shy. I tried to watch the first few episodes, but of the first season, but I don't know. I just wasn't that interested, but then me and Danielle just sat down and watched 
all of season three. So, it was cool. It was kind of cool. I thought some of it was a little bit like weird. Like, I don't know, there were like some scenes that I was just like, I don't know if this is the most important scene to film. Towards the end of the season, actually, I was very confused. Until the big thing happened, the spoiler. Someone dies, basically. It's not, that's not telling me too much. But it wasn't like. I was more, I almost felt like that's why everything was so weird, because like, they knew they had something big coming up. So they're like, oh, we're just going to get a little weird on the writing. Which they did. Because you guys are not very hungry. That's why I'm eating at this speed. And I have to go, but. Hmm. I might actually be thirsty, but I am hungry. Just down the whole glass of water. Ooh. Anyway. I was going to say, oh, you know, I need to stay longer and eat longer, but I'm not. Even though I'm hungry, I'm getting full really fast. A little steak. You're not supposed to use your left hand in Nigerian culture when you're eating. I've heard different reasons for this. Nigerians, in general, don't really like using left hands to do stuff, but some people even say it's because it's like you wipe your butt with your left hand or something like that, which I don't really know if that's true. I don't, even right now, I'm thinking back, I'm like, is that true? But anyway, wash your hands, be away. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's all I'm really going to do. That's what I'm going to eat. I hope you guys will like this video. Like and subscribe um, for more Nigerian food mukbangs and other mukbangs. And obviously, I drop a lot of art and poetry on here too because I'm a very creative person. And uh, I have a lot to say. I'm very thought. I, I just think about a lot of stuff. So, like it and subscribing. La la la, like it and subscribing. La la la, like it and subscribing. I have a weird setup today. I'm using my webcam camera, so you might notice the quality is a little bit better. Um, and then also, I'm using like a chair. But I really like it. It's actually working out pretty well, I think. I think. So cool. About to head out, do some computer work at a dental office. Um, so that should be fun. You can see it. Medium rare. It's not. Or it's actually almost rare, rare. Oh my gosh, the camera's making it look like it's just dripping in blood. This camera's very interesting. You saw in the video when I was cooking, underneath the, the pot, it looked like the thing was blue. But it's actually red. I thought that was weird. I suspect it had something to do with frame rates. Because blue light is a slower wavelength of light, so maybe this camera has, um, I don't know, some different setting because all the other colors look normal so it can't be a color setting it has to have something to do with the um framework also i'm gonna i'm gonna this is gonna be a podcast i've never done a mukbang podcast before but um, um me and mr conversation we're doing a 90 day challenge where we, you know, post to YouTube and um, make a podcast every day. So I'm trying to keep all the videos I do to have them be able to go on both platforms. Everything I do, and since I want to do my things like every other day, um, there's really no other option. I gotta check it out, see if it works. No, I'll listen to it. And I'll be like, okay, maybe I should change things up a little bit more, describe more. So for the people on the podcast, 
who didn't get to see everything I just did, but you did get to hear me describe it, and I'm going to put a voiceover over the cooking. Um, I was just eating some stew right now, Ebba, steak, um, yeah, so the Ebba came out kind of good, it's a little chunky, I got a couple Ebba chunks in there, that's when you don't mix it really well, you know, I'm, if you saw it, it was shambolic in the video, I was trying to keep it together, but I think like the bag had a hole in it, and I'm um, trying to hold it like a, like I almost looked like I was playing a talking drum. The way I was doing it, I almost looked like I was like, but I was really just pouring the Gary, stirring it up. But um, anyway, that's that. That's that. Anywho, I look forward to catching you guys in the next video. Hungry? No more. Peace. <clears throat> Film is one of the most powerful um, tools in the universe, and um, that's why I wanted to take a second to talk to you guys about something that I'm doing. It's called the Times Library Film Festival. Um, I would love for you, Times Library is a book of poetry that I did, and it's all about time and our relationship with these moments that we store and we charge up. And the film has always been a huge inspiration to me, and that's why I'm creating this contest where it's a digital film festival, you know, contactless, $50 that I'll be giving out every week, and to submit, just go to www.kenya.org and click Enter Times Library.